today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean your washer pump and filter and clean out your drain for your Samsung washing machine. This works on all front load Samsung washing machines. You're going to only need two things, toothbrush and a bucket. And on the bottom right there is where your drain pump and filter will be. Okay. You're going to come down to your panel right here. Press it in, which opens it up. This is what you get when you open up your panel. This is where your pump will be located in the screen. This is a drain hose. You're just gonna pop it out of position right here, which it just locks in right there, simple. I have the bucket situated right below. I'm gonna take it and you're gonna twist and pull at the same time. Like so, give it a couple twists. As you can see, it's coming out. And there goes your, ain't much water coming out. I think they would have gave you a little bit more to work with here. So it can go straight into the bucket. See? So we're going to let this drain out and I'll show you what to do after that. Hold it down. It works by gravity. And the reason why you're draining this first is because when you take out that filter screen in there, you don't want all that water to come flooding out at you. Like I said, still going very little more in there. I would say maybe two cups, maybe two to three cups will come up. Here's a close up of what I just pulled out. You just shove that back into the hose when you're done and it makes it airtight again. So you don't have no drains. A little more. Not even, not even a cup, I would say. Two cups, two cups. Okay, more or less we're done. Shake your hose, take your fitting, shove it back in. Rotate it as you put it in to make it go in further. It locks in, it can't go no past that point right there, okay? Click it back in in place where it was, out of the way. Now you're gonna come to your filter or trap. I'm gonna do my best to get it on camera, but I'm working behind the camera, so it might not be so easy. Okay, so this is like a pill bottle that you gotta press in like so and turn. So press it in and turn. Some water will come out of there as well. This is a very clogged trap. You're supposed to do this, I would say, every month or at least every 40 cycles, okay? This hasn't been done in a while. You can see it's all nasty looking, looking there. If you have girls in the house, of course you're gonna get hair barrettes or whatever you call them things. So you're gonna clean this out very thoroughly Water is still dripping out. That's why you have a towel to sop up anything that is coming out. So clean your drain, hair, bobby pins, whatever, whatever you got in there. Okay, that's where your toothbrush comes in. Doesn't have to be new. You can use your husband's. You can use your wife's. You gotta just brush it all out like so. I said every month to every 40 cycles, okay? Don't damage your O-ring. That's right here, going around the base. Be gentle with that. If you damage that, you're gonna have a leak. I'm gonna brush it out, brush it out. Stick it inside here. You get stuff out like so. Did 
then you're gonna look inside here. Let's see if I can get a close up of that for you. You see some debris in there? Stick your brush in and brush it out. Like so. Sorry about my camera angles. It's not easy to work behind the camera. So you get the point. You're gonna clean it up or whatever the residue that you see laying around. Have small fingers, which I don't to get up in there, but not much is in there. Okay, so the trap is doing his job, clean it out, stick your brush in the hole, gently clean it out. Boom. Okay, now that we're all clean, take your filter. Push it straight in. You're gonna hear a click as you turn it in. Give it a couple turns. Once you hear it click like that, that means it's locked in a place, you're good to go, okay? Clean up your area. Tap the residue off the lid a couple times. Dry it up nice and good. I'm gonna close it back up like so. Now you're gonna unplug your washing machine for two minutes, okay? That's gonna clear the code. If you got a code, you're gonna get a code called SC, okay? Which is basically what I just did there. Clean your drain, clean your filter, and you'll be good to go, okay? After two minutes, you plug it back in, give it a normal rinse, or a cleaning cycle will work even better. This has a cleaning cycle. Put it on the cleaning mode, let it do its thing, and you'll be good to go for the future. I got plenty of videos coming up. I do everything from car mechanics to cooking to heating systems in the house, whatever comes my way. If I think it's good for you guys, I'll make a video of it, okay? That's how I work. Questions, comments, leave them below. I get back to everyone. Hopefully that video helped you. If it did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Many more videos coming soon. Take care, fellas.